Hello, today I will show you a quick tutorial about creating a reusable blueprint inside Unreal Engine for opening doors. Uh, so it will be very easy to set up and reuse on all kinds of doors and migrate in other projects and use them as well. And if you find this useful, please uh, subscribe to our channel and you can support us on Patreon as well. So, okay, let's start. Uh, we first create a folder inside our content browser and then right click and create a blueprint actor. Let's create this bp underscore rotating door and open the blueprint. This blueprint can be used uh, inside Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 as well. Okay, the first thing we do is add a collision box. Uh, this collision volume will uh, serve as uh, overlapping volume and when the player gets inside it, only then he will be open to press a key and open and close the door okay let's uh, scale it uh, a bit and adjust its position later on when i drop and drop it in, in the world we can adjust uh, the size better let's leave it like this and open the event graph uh, so we will need those two nodes and the first thing we will do is uh, make uh, a verification uh, if the player is inside this collision volume and uh, only then to interact with the door uh, so let's make a variable it will be a boolean uh, and let's call it is player in volume So, in, uh, in when the player overlaps this volume, we have to check that it's this player. So, get the player pawn and let's compare. And when uh, we check that it's uh, inside the volume with the if statement create a branch and if this is uh, correct then let's set the player to be inside this volume to true okay now let's call the end overlap event and just Copy those nodes by Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And now the player is outside the volume. We can as well make a print statement to check if, uh, if it's showing that it's correct. So let's call this player in volume. And let's call this player left the volume. Okay, now on the event uh, begin play, uh, the, the next thing we have to do is make this collision box, just drag and drop it here in the event graph. And we have to make uh, the box uh, remain in the same position uh, no matter how the door opens so uh, it will be possible then the player to close the door uh, by being in the same place uh, because otherwise the box will rotate with the, with the door and it will be strange then to look for where to be in order to close the door so drag it from the box and uh, make uh, detach from component 
and let's uh, change everything to keep world okay so so now let's make the the pressing of the key to open the door let's search for a key we can use the e key as it's most common and we have to untick the consume input so we can use it as many times as we like inside the level so the first thing we do when we uh, press the key will be uh, to check if uh, the player is uh, inside the volume so make a branch and if the player is inside the volume we drag from true and make a flip-flop so we can open and close the door and from here we will create a timeline and let's call this one rotating door this will create the animation of the opening and the closing of the door and when we it's the pre press the first time we play the animation and when we play press the key the second time we play the animation in reverse now let's open this and add a full track let's call this uh, rotating door and let's make the length two seconds so by right clicking we add a key here it will be at the zero zero position and we add a key which will be at the end of the timeline at two seconds and it, the value will be fully opened like this and to make it look uh, smoother and nice let's create an out key to make it like an S curve like this it will look much nicer okay now we'll need to create another variable it will be the rotating amount and this one should be a fault and let's make it instance editable so we can specify the amount uh, uh, later in the editor and when we copy the blueprint we can make different amounts per blueprint very easy so let's make it 60 for example and now drag from here and make a warp so uh, this animation will serve as an alpha and uh, this node will lerp between zero and the amount that we specify so from here we make a rotator and we will rotate along the z-axis so what we will rotate we will rotate the default scene root the uh, blueprint actor itself so let's get his uh, let's set his world rotation and this will be the new rotation and update and this is our simple blueprint setup let's compile and save it uh, then drag and drop it inside the scene we have to position it in the corner of the door so it will rotate along this axis and what we have also to do is to go inside uh, here and choose player 0 as we are player 0 and also uh, to be able to rotate this door for example it consists of three parts the door the glass and the, the handle we select all of them they should be set to movable so we can 
move them inside the level and by drag and dropping it over the boop reductor we will attach them and parent them to it and so when we uh, move now the actor it will move together like this okay we are set up and now let's uh, check how it's looking so we spawn inside the level we go here player is, is inside the volume player left the volume as you see so the collision is working perfect and where we are inside the volume we press the key and the door opens 60 degrees so we can specify here for example to open uh, minus 90 so it opens like inside so we go to the door press the key and the door opens like this and this is how you set up a, an easy blueprint for opening and closing doors and you can easily migrate this blueprint and copy it to another file as well if you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss thanks for watching and see you in the next video